Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about the FGCU men's basketball team, success for Kia, and more. Today is Thursday, June 22nd, and this is the Morning Report. Mayor Peter Simons called for a renewed commitment to reducing bureaucracy and increasing efficiency inside the Bonita Springs government on Wednesday. The comments came after Simmons told the board about a resident who had been waiting for months to get a change to his business approved by the city so he could sell it and use the money to retire. Council member Greg Dewitt said while he agreed that something needed to be done to better solve the constituent issues, he disapproved of Simmons using council meeting to publicly criticize staff in front of a crowd. Council member Peter O'Flynn defended mayor's actions, pointing out that Florida's Sunshine Law requires the council to discuss such matters in public and that Simmons was using the only venue available to him to address the issue. To read more about this ongoing discussion, visit leeherald.com. Kia has claimed the top spot in the survey of new vehicle quality for the second straight year. Genesis was second in J.D. Power's annual initial quality survey. Porsche, Ford, and Ram rounded out the top five. The lowest ranking brands were Fiat, Jaguar, Volvo, Mitsubishi, and Land Rover. The survey questioned 80,000 owners of 2017 model year vehicles about the problems they had in the first 90 days of ownership. Owners were most likely to complain about technology, including poor voice recognition systems, clunky navigation, and problems pairing smartphones to their cars. Kia also was among the top five brands in Consumer Reports annual reliability survey published last fall. To read the full story, visit naplesherald.com. The FGCU men's basketball team is building quite the non-conference schedule for next season. On December 22nd, the Eagles will travel to Wichita State to play the Shockers, the program announced on Tuesday. Adding Wichita State makes the third NCAA tournament team on the FGCU's non-conference schedule, joining Rhode Island and a home-on-home -home series with Middle Tennessee State. After announcing late last week that rising junior swingman Ray John Tucker would not be returning to the program, FGCU has already found a replacement to fill that freed up scholarship. UNLV transfer Troy Baxter Jr., a 6'8 forward, will be coming to FGCU to join the Eagles. To stay up to date on the Eagles season, visit naplesherald.com. And that was the morning report for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at naplesherald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.